Right folks, just getting set up here, ready to do another 10 minute modeling challenge. My camera wobbles a little bit, I had to get that changed. So I've got the camera mounted on a microphone stand that's attached to the table and I thought that was super clever first because it's like a, one of those pivot arms that moves uh, up and down, left and right, really smooth, nice. Apart from that, it wobbles like crazy. So every time I touch the table, it wobbles. So I need to change my setup a little bit. So pardon for the wobbliness. Hope you're all doing good, by the way. And it's a stressful time, I know, but we'll get through it. We'll uh, make some Blender stuff, make some Unity, make some games, stay inside. Just uh, don't let it stop you from having fun, at least. Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Thursday again and we're gonna do another 10 minute build. I'm excited. It's episode 15 already. The year is flying past. I'm thrilled about all the visitors to my channel. I'm actually ecstatic. It's gone way beyond my expectations and I think I'm about to pass 40,000 subscribers, which is insane because I was only on 10, well, only on 10,000. I was ecstatic about 10,000. Oh, look! As well, only a few weeks ago or a month and a half now, so I lie a little bit. So um, I've also started another series. I've, if you haven't seen that one, check it out as well. I'm doing a little uh, low-poly racing game uh, since I uh, don't really have the time for it uh, because the editing takes quite a long time. But uh, luckily enough, I get away with not sleeping too much. So I spend uh, some late nights doing this. During the days, I'm working with an RTS game with a friend of mine. I've said that a few times before. We're having a lot of fun. It's going really well. It's a lot of work, a lot of uh, hardcore development stuff when it comes to multiplayer and getting all the units and everything working out. But we're having a blast and uh, we're in an exciting stage now where we're gonna move forward, not just with the development, but with the business side of things as well. So my days are filled up with uh, making the RTS games and my evenings are full of playing with kids. And uh, I have to try to do the recording of Unity and Blender stuff in the nights and also the editing. But it's uh, <laughs> a lot of work, but I'm enjoying it. Having a lot of fun. Last summer I bought uh, a set of uh, Warhammer 40k, I think it's called, uh, some units. Uh, we started to put those together, but it's been on the shelf for quite some time. So today after work I spent some time with the kids. We uh, assembled some new ones and uh, started to, uh, you have to glue them together, snap them. You don't snap them together, you have to glue the little bits together. We don't really play the game as such yet, but uh, it's a lot of fun just painting, uh, painting those units. So here are a few sample clips from uh, what we've come up with so far. My son Aiden spent uh, probably two hours on two of those center units now so uh, he's really enjoying that and so are the girls as well we're all uh, all of us are, are doing it together so we're having a good time uh, try to find stuff if you uh, if you've got stuff stashed away in shelves or in, in the attic or in boxes or in a drawer <laughs> maybe you'll reinvent having some fun with that during these days Thanks for all the comments so far. I've got a lot of suggestions still, but this week I'm gonna go on a little suggestion that my son had. So he wanted me to model a skyscraper or a, yeah, a skyscraper. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. And uh, let's just have some fun. Make a tall skyscraper and see what we can put on it. Don't even know what it's gonna look like yet, but we'll figure it out. Check out in the description if you wanna see my Blender setup video. It'll tell you how to get this palette on the left and also how to get this shader view with the uh, workbench render so you can get the cavity settings. So check that out. Check the video in the description. All right, with that said, let's get cracking. I've spoke way too much. Go, and we are off, it's ticking. So tab it into edit mode, hold the control key and move this one up to there. A to select everything, scale, shift, Z. Let's scale this out. And we're not gonna make it to true scale. Let's extrude this one, just random. Extrude that one, E to extrude. E to extrude again, whatever. <laughs> let's just make some shapes here. Uh, e to extrude. Someone said that I should make a t-shirt with this, so I'm probably gonna do that one day. I'm gonna make a t-shirt with E to extrude S to scale. Would you buy that merch? I'm not happy with that. Let's control Z that one. Okay, let's expand that again. Expand this, E to extrude, E to extrude. Now maybe we can put some nice uh, shape here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be inspired by something in real life, but two to edge select. Uh, O to enable proportional editing, G to move it, and uh, G, X actually, and then scroll the mouse wheel down a little bit. Got some weird behavior there, what's all that about? Let's see, it's on, oh yeah, it's on random, that's good. I don't want, I want it on smooth, so make sure you keep it on smooth if you want it not to be random. So X, let's move this one out to maybe there. So let's see if we can figure out what, what this building could look like. Uh, maybe that one, G, X, move that out. And let's move this one up. Ah, that's okay. Seven on the keypad, top view, A to select, every, no. B to box select, and then let's see. We've got all the top faces, so let's just move those up a bit. We take uh, proportional away off there, move it up to there. E to extrude again, 
height inset, E to extrude. Let's just tick off some things here now actually, and we'll just save some lower parts here. This can come up with us still actually, but we'll take that away. And then uh, E to extrude, no, actually Control Z, I to inset this, E to extrude it. And uh, let's take a few things off here. So hold the shift key and just deselect a few things. I to inset, actually let's uh, Control Z that one and just take these off as well. I to inset this, oh, I pressed O instead by mistake. I to inset, E to extrude, here we go. Let's make that a little bit higher. Oh, it's meant to be a skyscraper. I have to go way taller than that. Okay, um, I to inset this. We got some uh, stuff going on there in the corner, so let's uh, redo that one. Take away the edge here. It's a bit too picky. Actually, we can move this one in by selecting these edges here. Shift and then G twice, and that'll uh, force the movement to the edge so it doesn't go astray. And we can shift select a few of these again. Let's make some terrace type of things here. So I to inset this, uh, E to extrude that. Here we'll make a terrace. So with I to inset this one, E to extrude that one down. Let's make one here as well, a double terrace. Uh, it's not really observatory heights, these floors, I don't think. So let's put a swimming pool on this one. It can be here maybe in the center. I to inset, E to extrude. I to inset, E to extrude it down and let's Put some water here, G on the left side, and move that one to some watercolor. There we go. Let's put a decking here. I to inset that one, E to extrude this one, make a wood color deck here, and then here's a bar or something like that. So let's select that. I to inset, E to extrude, E to extrude again. S to scale it out, E to extrude. I to inset, and E to extrude it down. Okay. And uh, let's continue up. It's meant to be a skyscraper after all, so we have to select a few more things here. And uh, let's just go wild here. We, we can select these, um, uh, all of those. I to inset that, E to extrude that. And uh, that can stay there for now. Let's select uh, these. We'll leave that one on the side there. So that's gonna be another terrace. E to extrude this, oh, I to inset, E to extrude up to here. And then here we can just go I to inset and make another little deck in there, something like that. Let's go here for some weird shape. Now we can do, uh, maybe keep this shape going up like that. That'll be a bit of a wider. So E, I to inset, E to extrude. And uh, here, what should we do here? We need to go way higher with this one as well, don't we? Okay, I to inset this one. I'm certainly a uh, skyscraper architect. It's probably not the fanciest skyscraper in the world. Oh, what's the time? 5.18, okay. That should be all right. We just kind of put some windows on this thing as well. So let's move, uh, take two, press G twice, move this one into here. Um, if I press G twice, it moves it along the current edge so you don't mess up that geometry. Okay, let's put a bigger inset here. Or let's put, here's like some sort of a first observatory, observatory deck. Yeah, so that's a bit bigger. Uh, so that's where the, the people that don't pay as much will go, but the people that have a lot of money will go up a lot more to the top here. E to extrude that one, S to scale it, E to extrude, E to extrude again, S to scale that one down, E to extrude. It's going to be quite tall, yeah, that's good. And here's the, the fancy ex E to extrude. Let's see, S to scale it out. Here's the fancy deck now. E to extrude this one. I to inset this one. E to extrude it down, and here's like some sort of a, let's see. I have to move this one out again here, G twice, so we move it along that edge, so we don't get so close to the edge there. I to inset that one, E to extrude. These these guys get a roof here as well. That's how much they paid to get up here. So they protect it from the rain, um, probably not from lightning, oh yeah. They have lightning protectors, don't they? Uh, okay, e, e to extrude, S to scale. I'm wasting too much time here. S to scale, E to extrude, 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 S to scale, <laughs> E to extrude, and S to scale it down a lot. Okay, so I've got 335. Now I'm just gonna put a lot of, here, let's put a, a glass alt and select this ring select here. E to extrude this one, control plus G on the left side and colorize that to some glass color. 
And now we're gonna do a whole bunch of uh, random loop cuts here. So control R and use the mouse wheel just to put a lot of extra different type of floors. We'll have some different type of windows here. So control R, scroll the wheel, that'll do. Here's some taller windows maybe. Control R, here we go. Control R, control R, a bunch here as well. And that should be okay. And now let's do, uh, go to this, actually we, we just uh, press three to go into face select. And here we got some, this bit us in the behind G twice because we need a fairly straight line here for the windows. So probably do it like you know, G twice to just move it. That'll have to do uh, good enough. All right, uh, 232, so now we're gonna just alt select a bunch of these. Alt and shift select uh, multiple things here where we want windows, not there, we don't want them. Here we can have a few windows, maybe not there, but there. Here we want to, oop, control Z. Alt, shift, select a bunch of those. And here as well, and here we want windows all the way along. Here we want, and there as well, we'll skip some floors in between. And that's okay. And then I to inset twice now. So first time you, it does like that, but if you hit I again now, you get uh, individual faces here. And then Alt E to extrude along face normals and go in just a slight bit. G on the left side and make uh, like a blue window type of thing. So now we've got a whole bunch of uh, windows for the skyscraper. We've got 143, so we can also colorize it a little bit just to break up the colors a little bit. So let's uh, Alt select, uh, Alt Shift select a few of these. Actually, we'll do uh, this one, maybe that one, do that one, and this one, and this one and then G and move that to something darker just is that too dark maybe that was too dark so let's go G on the left side here in the UVs okay that's it so we've got one 114 now I'm just gonna boo do a, a few more things here let's put uh, that's some sort of a grass thing and uh, here's just I twice to insert that one that's some sort of a utility thing and then we can expand oh we need some windows down here as well I guess Alt select that one, I to inset twice. I to inset twice. Alt E, extra long normals. There we go. And G, move it to color, 40 seconds. So let's just get some stuff here on the ground. Uh, there we go. Some stuff for the base here. Here's some sort of an entrance thing probably. So that can be uh, so 18 seconds to go now. We'll just get a glass front here. Need to extrude that one. And four, three, two, one. That's it. I'm not even stressed this time. Sorry about that, I apologize. I made a habit to uh, some of the later builds to become really stressful, so I'm sorry if you came here to, <laughs> to see me get stressed out. Every now and then, I should probably just go uh, a little bit easier so I don't have to flip out <laughs> like I do sometimes. Uh, but I, I will pressure myself many more times, don't worry about that. I've got loads of thoughts about uh, doing uh, like uh, 10 aircraft or animals I've uh, got a plan for. I've got uh, weapons, I've got you name it. So don't worry, I'm gonna stress myself out in the future again. This one didn't stress out too much. So there we have it. Uh, it's a skyscraper. Uh, it's not uh, an amazing piece of uh, architecture. I hope it's all right, son. I don't know if I, I did you proud on this one, but I tried my best to, to uh, not stress out this time and just to have a little casual modeling session here. Every now and then it'd be nice to do a few of those as well. So, and I realized here, I didn't put any uh, fencing for the poor economy uh, view deck here. So we're gonna have some casualties here. We're gonna have some people blown off the sides here. To, uh, they should have paid for the top floors. They've got some nice protective uh, glass there. So keep that in mind, go to the top if you can. 
I, I should also mention that uh, I got a lot of comments and I don't know if I deserve so many uh, nice praises because I, I don't, uh, I just do these things to practice my own modeling skills. I'm not trying to show off, I'm not trying to do uh, the, the most amazing builds that you can in 10 minutes. It's just a personal challenge uh, that I invite other people to watch and hopefully learn from. I'm really happy that people can see it as tutorials. It wasn't designed to be tutorials, it was just me having fun doing some, some challenges. And the fact that people learn from it is just an extreme bonus and I'm really happy about that but I'm not going to be able to push myself to uh, to better myself every time I've realized that I'm not going to put that pressure on myself either it's stressful enough as it is trying to fit these modeling challenges in every week so I'll do my best to uh, to just uh, keep it a little bit casual but every now and then I'll probably freak out and stress myself out like I did with the cars I get a message at 1 30 in the morning who is this it's my friend Jim if you're in the chat Jim you shouldn't be texting me this time. Well, you should. You can text me anytime because I should just mute my phone. It's my own fault. So I'll have a look at that later, Jim. If you're in the chat today and during the premiere, you were here last week. So nice to see you. It's been a long time since we met. Uh, Jim's a good friend of mine. We grew up together. We uh, haven't seen each other in a while, mostly because I've got way too many things or that I think I need to do. But I should prioritize and go and visit him, him again. But I have to wait until this uh, quarantine thing goes out. So maybe in a few months or something like that. Well, fingers crossed, we can see what goes on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the likes if you did, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I think, um, uh, yeah, come back next week. We'll do another one, shall we? <laughs> have a good week until then. Stay safe, have fun, you know what to do. Bye for now.